2022 is starting to really ramp up when it comes to game releases and one of the biggest and most anticipated of the first run is Dying Light 2 Stay Human, which has been years in the making, and it seems that developer Techland is already promising much more is to come after the release, as it's announced a post-launch roadmap. Announcing the plans via Twitter, Techland said, It all starts on release, but it's just the beginning. We're planning to keep enhancing the game with DLCs, challenges, stories, events and more for at least five years, and that's a minimum. You sure won't be bored. Right after launch, in February there will be factions-inspired free pieces of downloadable content. Around March time there will be the first set of new challenges being added to the game, then in April there will be events that bring mutated infected to the game. Another set of new challenges will be coming just before May, then lastly, for now, somewhere between May and June Techland intends to bring the first story DLC to fans. That isn't all however, as the announcement confirmed, Dying Light 2 Stay Human will receive at least 5 years of support, including a second piece of story DLC, new weapons, enemies, new stories and events, and even more free and paid content. With some developers, this might feel like lip service to fans before the game comes out, but Techland has proven with the previous Dying Light entry that it supports the products it puts out. Only recently we got small additions to that previous game, and a new Switch version as well. Dying Light 2 Stay Human is out on February the 4th on PlayStation 4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series S and X and PC, but the Switch Cloud version has been delayed to around 6 months after that initial launch. For more on this game and every game and for what's new and what's next, head to nme.com.